through a lot of years, a lot of hard work, the driving in oil is better than anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an exciting day today. Right now I'm hanging out with my buddy Josh Schneider here at Newell Coach. We're getting ready to test drive this 2022 Newell Coach that's got some brand new stuff going on on it. What's going on, Josh? Well, you know that uh, from our last test drive video we did, which thanks to you who watched it, um, we've gained a lot of things since then. We're always working on our drive and rideability, and uh, we're happy to introduce a couple new features here. We want to show it off today. For instance, right here, if you can look right here, Andrew. Yes, sir. Everybody wants to know what ride height they're usually riding in. Are you high, low, or normal? We're in a pretty tight area right here. This is our old factory. Now, obviously, coaches have gotten taller. We used to build coaches here in the 70s, 80s, 90s. So our ceiling's kind of low. So to get out of here, I have to hit low ride. I just simply touch low ride. I have it in travel mode. You can see it says not at ride height. But look at this right here. I don't even have to look at that. I already know where I'm at with the one, two, three. One's low, two's normal, three's high. This way, if you might be listening to your radio, we're looking at a backup camera, you don't have time to go to that stage, you know what's always going on with your ride height. So, right now, it's one bar, I'm low ride, I'm gonna hit my 360 camera, I'm gonna put that right up there. You can kind of see how that transferred over. Oh yeah, transfer look up right here. Right up to there. And then that's gonna allow me to put my backup camera right there. So I have all angles and everything around me knowing this is kind of my far view. This is kind of my close up view. So this right here helps us really with blind spots and things like that. Any poles might be in a garage or if your kid may leave something out like a toy or something, you're not gonna run over it and you don't have to go to the toy store and buy a new one. <laughs> now, hold on one second take my shoes off out of respect for the future owner of this coach what a good looking paint job Josh Thanks. Ryan Laux has definitely been taking you guys to the next yeah. level Ryan has and I gotta give Tim and his boys they take what Ryan does and they put it to the metal and they get it right I mean they really made this coach look good so not only a shout out to Ryan but our painting shop too they did a great job now Andrew when we backed it out of there we had to go to low ride yes sir right Okay, I'm still in load ride right now. So, how do I know that? I got the one bar right there. Yep. You see that? And I switched over to right there and it says I'm at low ride height. Okay. Still have my camera up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to normal. Yep. And it's gonna switch up to normal. And when it made it, it, it will tell me when I'm at height and it up to two right there. So that way I have two bars. I know I'm at ride height, normal ride height and it'll tell me when it's achieved it. It did say not at height, now it's at height, and that's how you know. What I really wanted to show off today was our Smart Ride feature. Yeah. And I think that's what we really got to do. In order to do that, we got to get above 50 miles an hour. Let's so, do it. Let's do it. All right. And, and we're gonna give you guys a full tour of the interior of this coach. This actually has the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in any RV. Oh, there it's for a amazing. Treat, huh? it's, it's really a cool layout. It's just a great coach with an awesome feature. So we kind of had to drive it and do an interior shot for this coach. It's so special. Absolutely. I'm excited about this one. So I'm going to put, there you go, right on in there. Now, remember, we do have easy steer here, and I can easily step my easy steer if I just go over to this right here. I like mine, for instance, at three quarters. Yeah. So I just simply press the save right here or I can do it with the touch of my fingers right there if I want to. Our steering assist control steering is gonna be right, right there. there. Right there, yes, right front of your face so you know easy what it is. And then you can also switch to make sure your tire pressures are up. And another cool thing I like that we do offer now that might not have been there beforehand, we do have a door that might be open. You might have forgotten about that bay door. You can look down and you can see that you have a bay door open. Yeah, and then if you wanna show them how you can toggle the screen, that's just a great feature oh, a with great Newell Coach. Feature. Just because, you know, the steering wheel, everyone's gonna be sitting at a different ride height, but then the, your steering wheel is gonna be at a different position to make you comfortable. And then Josh will show you, you can just toggle that up and down 
depending on where you want that visibility through that steering wheel. And some people we find seem colors more than better than other. And the needle part of the odometer is probably the smallest part. And so most of them are white or orange. Some people can't see white or orange. So we have the ability to go all red, blue, all blue, green, different things. All this is made for just to make you feel the most comfortable while driving the coach and give you the best opportunity. Yes, sir. Let's go back to this right here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to simply just take it for a little spin through the great town of Commerce and the Quapaw um, towns of Oklahoma. So uh, let's get going. I'm going to start out here with a normal ride. I'm in normal ride height. Let me get to my uh, miles per hour here. Obviously, before I hit drive, hit the old D on the Allison transmission, I need to buckle up. So pretty easy all right, right here i'm gonna buckle up myself here too i appreciate all of the viewers that are concerned uh you know with making sure we take all safety precautions here uh this is such a comfortable passenger seat here i gotta set the camera down another neat thing we did we started running garmin uh gps systems yeah. um we did run ram mcnally one reason why we ran ram mcnally they had a uh, hdmi port on it and so we could transfer your gps screen over to this right here see how good I'm in right here. Am yeah, I clear your um, side? You are, you have this Corvette coming That's right nice here. Corvette. Yeah, I, I like white Corvettes. Looks yeah. like a C6. It is. All clear? No, 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 you got you got, you got got someone coming, hold on. Okay. Sorry. After, after this Honda or this Kia, now you're clear. There's a big semi way back there. Okay. Put this 605 horsepower to the test here. Yes, sir. You used to be able, if you watch some of our past videos, we could take our GPS and put it over to here. But a lot of people really love the Garmin system. The Garmin system did not allow us to do that, but we want to offer our customers what they want. So what we did was we had to fill that space right there. So something we did pretty cool was we did an info gauge stage. It shows all 15 of our gauges at one time, anywhere from exhaust temperature to house voltage, even down to vehicle speed in the bottom corner. We can rearrange it to what you want to know. But this way right here, we felt there's something maybe going on with your coach, or you just want to know some more information about it. You don't have to toggle through your screen and look right here. You can have it all right there. And we make that possible because we simply have the backup camera all going at all times right there. So it makes for our uh, infotainment, we can do a number of different things while I'm going down the road and give us the information we need to make us our ride feel comfortable. Yeah. So the whole purpose of this test drive is to test out smart ride. So I probably need to explain to you what that smart ride is. Yeah, yeah, talk more about it. I've been talking about it on the phone for a lot lately, but it's time to prove it where we can do it. What it is, is we wanted to make it to, how can we enhance our ride? Everybody said it, Bradley Twait said it in his videos. The rumor used to be you would need to drive in another coach and stay in a Newell. Well now, there were a lot of years, a lot of hard work, the drive in a Newell is better than anything else. And this is just another example of that. What we've done is, if you looked um, past earlier, everybody knows about our steerable tag axle, our steerable tag axle, um, our easy steer, all that good stuff, our control dampening shock system, and go sport to comfort. But we wanted to take it to another level, so we came up with Smart Ride. Smart Ride, we worked with ZF and Valid um, with the air. And what it does is, it's going to allow us to enhance the drive and the ride of the coach. At high speeds, the coach always stayed whether it was going 40 or 30 at the same thing. Well, you remember back in the day, sports cars would lower an inch or two. Yeah. When they got to high speed, why? To enhance the drivability and the ride to give you a smoother ride, but also with handling and different things. So, we're gonna test it out here right now. I'm doing a normal test drive that I normally do if anyone would ever come see me here at Newell Coach. This is the route we take. I really like this test drive because Oklahoma, we have a lot of crosswinds. This right here gives us some crosswind. If you watch our test drive video earlier, we went another route with another area with a lot of crosswind as well. Yes, sir. So um, here I'm out at 45, so I'm going to take it to Smart Ride right here. When I go into Smart Ride mode, it turned normal to gold, Smart Ride into blue. When it's in the blue, it means it's um, that's what's active now. The reason why we keep it gold so you know that you're in normal ride mode. You can also check with that with our two bars right here. Right now we're in still normal road. We're in this smart ride and I'm gonna let you drive it too so you can feel the difference. Awesome. So um, we go up here, we'll turn around. 
but uh, it works very, very well. This is a very bumpy road, as we talked before. Oh, we yeah. We have uh, some of the best roads around here, but it really puts us to the test. So if we can uh, make our ride smooth on these roads, we're confident we can make it ride smooth anywhere in America. True story. So, yeah, <laughs> I've got to give everyone a close up. I mean, this in a lot of vehicles, you'd be just getting hammered around. This really is, you know, a lot of people say kind of like, the Rolls Royce of RVs, I think would be a good comparison. And it's funny because um, I, I've said, well, the Newell versus other coaches out there, it's kind of like a Bentley versus a Rolls Royce. And I've actually met a couple people that said, well, I own a Rolls Royce and a Bentley and the Rolls Royce drives better than a Bentley. So we're gonna call this the, the Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce. I mean, it I really, like it. as far as the smoothness and, and the power and the steering, just the overall comfort, it's extremely smooth going down the road. And I've driven, as you guys know, I've driven pretty much about everything out there. It's activated them above 60 miles an hour now. It lowered down a little bit more. It gave a little bit more of a lower to give you more energy in the airbags. So it goes from 50 to 60, have almost like a different state. And it made that little it adjustment. It made that little adjustment. So no one, you're gonna feel a little bit different of a ride. Don't think there's nothing wrong with your coach. There's not, it's just adjusting to the conditions that you're driving in. Okay. Which all we do is our engineering team. 13.8, are we? We're good. Okay, we're going so the 13.8, I have no problem. I'm going 60 miles an hour right now. It's all about trust, bud. You just gotta go through it. Even we'll at higher <laughs> ride height, yeah. All right. So, you, you guys saw it. 13.8, the Newell coach is all good. So I was definitely <laughs> nervous there. Well, I mean, as uh, you know, we always talk about our interior height, and we have to keep it within 13.6, so there's no better test than the uh, over bridge. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something really cool is, I want to go to um, hold up, uh, sport mode. I'm gonna simply step up the shocks because I'm gonna go around a pretty sharp curve up here, Andrew. Well, this dump truck's in our way a little bit. But this is a pretty big curve. This is a pretty good size RV. I'm going 60 miles an hour right now and feel how this smooth this is on this curve. Right. That right there is done because a lot of that shock um, system that we run really works well along with our outer airbag system. This is all made, our engineers really work hard to make your drive easy. So this drives more like a Rolls Royce. That's a great um, way to put it, and thank you for that. That's what we try to achieve here, and all these extra features are just made to make your drive a lot more enjoyable so you can actually look forward to going somewhere. I'm back below 50 miles an hour, is running to a uh, little town here in Oklahoma. Here. Yeah, we can spin it around too. We don't need to go on too far of a drive here. This is a... Uh it's got to find a good way to spin it around. Yeah, what's the what's the price on this? What is it, about two point three million? This right here is two point three million dollars. This has a uh, the custom um, Ryan Louts paint job on it, uh, which he does all of our coaches. But you have a couple different options to choose from. This uh, this uh, right here was initially a show coach. So we just kind of let Ryan go crazy with it. Yeah, with all the stenciling. All the sten and oh, he does such an amazing job. And so that right there pushed us probably a little north of 2.3. But uh, I think that people will feel the paint job's well worth it. Yes, sir. Uh, you guys are definitely uh, stepping up your game. What I'm going to do around here is we're going to find a good place to turn around right up here, bud. And I'm going to turn the uh, controls over to you. All right. I'm excited. I mean, I'll let you operate the coach while I operate your camera. How's that? Uh, that's, a, that's a game plan. <laughs> Would you guys let me drive a $2.3 million RV? <laughs> Probably not. So a huge thanks to Josh Schneider and the team here at Newell Coach for this opportunity. I'm, I'm really excited about this up here is we got to find a good place to turn around we'll go probably right up here uh, yeah sounds good yeah, pretty smooth all right we're pulling into the uh, Baxter Center parking lot here and is this Commerce Oklahoma or Baxter Springs Kansas Baxter Springs Kansas oh we're in Kansas in Kansas we made the Kansas but wow so we're we're driving Newell coaches over state lines here to get you guys the best content here on YouTube Ready? Yes, sir. Oh, have you ever driven a Newell shoot. in Kansas? Never. First today time for today. everything. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to drive a Newell in Kansas today. That's good old state of Kansas. Come on All in. right, I'll trade you. Man, I can't wait to show the folks that that uh, coach. He's yes, buckling up here. Putting you see, there. I have that up there if you want to use my that. rear view and my 360 camera. But if you want to go to a straight rear view, you can. 
you just do what you pretty, need I'm to do. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm actually, I'm 6'2", but I'm still going to move the seat up a little more, maybe a little taller, just to, I'm, I'm really comfortable, but. Okay. I, Set your mirrors up. See right there, and I'm going to get a good look at all the gauges and stuff too, so people can kind of see. Yeah, I'm just checking everything out here. This is a little, I mean, I drove a 21, but this is a 22. I've never yeah. driven a 22 before. Where are my mirror adjustments here? Your mirror adjustments are going to be right up here. Do, 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 right down there and this touch oh perfect around. so like this mirror i want to just change a little oh that is so awesome yeah, and then it just comes out and then like this mirror i'm going to just kind of bring that in a little oh whoops so it highlights it around blue on the mirror that you're using and then over here i think we'll, well, i'm going to bring this one up a little I think that's perfect good to with get those it. mirrors and these cameras. I'm feeling good. Now, I want to get some some cameras on there this. There you go. We have a lot of things to Let's choose just from. Have that rear. Rear. I like just having that rear camera okay. to kind of know. Now, I'm going to sit down and buckle up here. I'm yes, sir. I'm going to go and take our right here, and I'm going to put the these coats. step covers. Let me, let me grab this from you and just okay. let, let me just show you guys what it looks like up front here, just when you're sitting in the seat. And that LED, the, the camera shutter speed makes it flicker a little bit, but that's not normal. There's that. You got all these different screens. So you got my backup. Yeah, the whole purpose of this right here is you have your backup camera. But this right here is our uh, Intrepid system, our Intrepid 2.0 system. So the driver can control everything inside the coach generator air we got everything. it yeah we do have air conditioners going on back there it is the summertime here in oklahoma yes. so if you do hear a little bit of noise that's well, what that if is if you look at that right there it's 110 degrees outside oh my goodness and we have 70 degrees inside we have a lot of heat coming in i'm a bigger guy i sweat so i'm not yeah, sweating right cool. now to show yeah. you how cool it is in here um that's the neat thing about here you can control everything up front as a driver for instance you have a lot of lights on back there driving it starts getting night everybody has the lights on behind you you can just hit oh look at that boom boom nice but you also know a big thing is is my toilet's not flushing well the main water pump's on you know i'd say turn the main water pump on you can just do it yourself okay so yeah. that way you control everything going on in your coach while your passengers are staying relaxed and they start screaming yelling about something you can fix the problem without <laughs> even yes, having sir. to pull over and get up yes sir yeah we'll turn that water pump off just because yes. we don't need it on and i need to turn auto fill off as well too we don't need we're not we're not hooked up to water no. and auto fill perfect but anyway i'm gonna take the camera back all right let the man start driving it it's game time game Thank time this opportunity this is incredible we got a couple first here first time driving a coach in kansas the first time driving to 2022. yes sir Make lot to be thankful for okay no 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 no. just keep going i was gonna make sure the smart ride was on you can hit the camera button back right there and uh, hit rear rear all right awesome and now this, sorry, you want to see how good that thing can turn you give it oh yeah I'll, I'll turn it right around yeah yeah it's so incredible how smooth this is and can't thank you enough for this opportunity josh and the team at newell this is just this is incredible a lot to be thankful for here oh my goodness this is so and smooth. it's probably been a little bit you know you drove a couple other coaches recently because i know you just you oh. finished a long trip in the leisure van which yeah the no, van been, is awesome yeah no i've been driving a lot of different coaches but i love as soon as i hit my left blinker here this camera comes up showing the left side here and there's a little traffic so i'll show everybody real quick before we go out onto the road that camera right there all right okay uh, this guy's turning left but i'm not i don't want to i'm not going to pull in front of him on a left turn i think he wants you to yeah i just the, the insurance liability I, I, I don't so i i just know that i'm liable if he just hit the side of this coach because i'm making a left hand turn i would be at yeah. fault so even if someone tells me to make a wrong play i'd rather just sit still and do nothing then I love it then do you know break the traffic law i'm just kind of spinning the camera around so everybody can get a good look at kansas here that's yeah. all yeah <laughs> driving in kansas in a 2.3 million dollar rv
Boom. Wow, that power. That's at 605. Hey, you guys have the X15, right? The X15 uh, 605 has got a 15.1 liter with 1950 pounds of torque. It's got the muscle to get up and go. Cool. And you can tap that screen if it's not on. But... So I do apologize. My camera work isn't as good as Andrew's. It's all good. So if you want to loosen this and tighten your steering up, you can just adjust it with your right hand. Where? Down there on your right there. You see where your uh, windshield wiper? Uh, oh, right here? Yeah. Look at the one on the bottom. You can lift it up. Oh, there we go. So I've got the steering assist all, all the way, way up. up. Big right we do have some good crosswind in our big 110 degree day today. Oh, I like, so I personally, and I was talking with our buddy Ashley, who uh, just bought a 15 new, who just bought a 15 Newell. Uh, he, uh, he likes having it turned up all the way and I'm the same way. I like having it turned up all the way. Now I left it in sport mode. So you're gonna feel a little bit more, you're gonna feel a little bit I better like handling. I like the sport mode. You like so, the sport yes, mode, sir. yeah. And with that, with the smart ride, you really can get on it. Now your smart ride's been activated. There you go. And you can kind of feel a little bit more of a difference. You feel like you're not really driving a 45 foot motorhome right now. No, it's, it's, it's almost scary how smooth this is. Driving a 60,000 pound machine down the road here. A lot of people thought when we had in sport mode that uh, we were, um, a little bit rougher of a ride because it does stiffen the shock system up. What we've learned with this smart ride is you can keep it in sport mode and you still have that good floaty ride almost as you're in comfort. Uh, let's take it out of sport mode. I just want what to you want to do it. is take it out of sport mode. Okay, you know where you adjusted the uh, easy steer at? Yes, sir. There's another toggle switch right above it. You need to uh, toggle that down. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Okay, now you're in comfort. Now I understand. A little bit of a learning curve there, but now I. It's just a matter of just now that I understand those toggle switches, I totally get it. So now we're in comfort mode. You're in comfort mode. It's going to give you more of a floating feel. You kind of see right through here as we go. Can you tell a little bit of a difference? It takes about 30 seconds for that to adjust. Yeah. But it's, it's pretty quick. There's 3M out here, huh? Oh, yeah. Well. And you just now got into Oklahoma too. Okay, so, so we're back in Oklahoma. Our stay in right. Kansas did not last that long. But you kind of see as we're driving right through here how smooth and everything is. It's a nice relaxing drive. Are you like it? Can you feel the difference? I like the comfort. I mean it's um it's real similar to like you know high-end luxury cars, the difference between sport mode. I'm gonna go back over to sport mode. So you yeah, to there we go, just toggle through. it. Now that I know. And then it just stiffens up just a little bit by going up. down this curve up here. So. Yeah, I mean, if you want to ever feel like Mario Andretti or Dale Earnhardt, yeah. you kind of do it in your know a little bit, but be safe about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming in pretty hot here. This has the, uh, the Jake Breaker. Yeah, brake? we have a, a two-stage uh, engine brake, um, high and low. Low Jake works off high, of four yeah. cylinders, high works off of all six. So um, a lot of people use the low mode in the interstate and the high mode in uh, city traffic because the high will help you back down a little bit quicker. Yeah, we're in that high mode right now and I just took my foot off the gas as we're going into town here. It's just unbelievable that this is a motor home. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's way too smooth. Well, if you even look back through there, you can kind of see you don't hear any rattles or anything. We have a very, very nice, quiet you ride. Give them a, you want to give them a walk back yeah, there? Yeah, kind of you walk through here. You can easily walk through. Yeah. yeah, this is the slide outs in, and obviously we're able to maneuver around when, while in motion. You don't hear really any rattles. But you notice that everything is very easy to get to, whether the slides are in or out. So if you're parked overnight, you don't have to put all the slides in or all the slides out to enjoy your null. You might put one out, you don't have to put any out. Um, some people like to kick the bedroom slide out so they can walk into the uh, rear bath. But if not, we do have enough space right through there where you can shimmy around. And this is why we offer that closet right here. So really everything's really to use and operate while the coach is uh, in motion and the slides are in. Obviously with our half bath right here. Let's go back up here and check on Andrew. Yeah. See how he's doing as we're cruising through the uh, great town of Quapaw, Oklahoma, as we're coming into Commerce, home of Mickey Mantle. Yeah. So uh, as we're going around this curve here, you can see Andrew's going through curves. I really was able to hold the camera very steady because 
it's just a smooth riding vehicle a true story <laughs> so it didn't affect us going through the um curves there so how do you feel about it you enjoying it i see that <laughs> smile on my face here it's uh well, we already noticed that what's pretty cool is you like driving it in sport mode i like driving it in comfort mode yeah. so we have that option right now you like turning your uh easy steer all the way up i like mine at three quarters one great thing i think that we offer here at Newell, we give you that option because not everybody likes the same driving vehicle yeah true story. so that's why when some people tell you some things drive better than others a lot of times it's just a personal preference so we give you an option to pick that's the whole reason why we do it this 13.8 driving a 2.3 million dollar rv under a 13.8 bridge oh my god i'm so nervous uh, I'm, I'm slowing down but josh just did, oh my gosh oh man that just my nerves uh, uh, i don't know how i i don't know how i talked to you guys into letting me drive this coach but oh i greatly appreciate hey, it you don't know what you're getting until you get in there and drive it so yes sir the test drives probably one of the most important parts of whenever you come here and look at everything the test drive is uh really important because you got to enjoy the trip there 100 percent and get there safely and our coaches are very very safe we have one of the safer coaches in the industry the dual coach owners that i've talked to are, are extremely educated and um one of the things that a uh, newell coach owner i was in colorado last week and a newell coach owner was just talking about how you build this coach around the slide outs and that aluminum structure and then even there's some steel like there's steel posts and steel yes. beams right up here uh, we did talk about that in the build process video with james nethery uh from the engineering department there uh, he really explained that and we showed the, the build process i'll make sure to leave a link to that video in the description below but uh i'm I'm just so impressed with the Newell Coach product every time I come here to Oklahoma. You guys are just always coming up with new stuff and uh, can't say enough good about the team at Newell Coach. And their and their product, just the, the finished product. It's not only the team is great, but the finished product is, is leading the industry. Well, thank you very much. I mean, we just like I say, 185 people worked their tail off to bring that to you. Yep. And we have a great workforce here in Miami, Oklahoma. We really do. You're down at 31%. By you the can way. see some heavy winds. Maybe some yeah. tornadoes came through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We do have a. We're a little bit in Tornado Alley, I guess you can say. So um, we always have some winds blowing here. You know, that's just Oklahoma. Yeah. The great state of Oklahoma, I guess you can say. A lot of good people here. A lot of Oklahoma. great people. Yes, I really enjoy living here and I really enjoy the state of Oklahoma and so is my family. As we're pulling in here, Commerce, around, Commerce Oklahoma. <laughs> as we go around the curve and Commerce is not a big town, but it is home to the great Mickey Man. <laughs> yes, sir. And um, Little Cafe Barbecue. Don't forget about <laughs> them. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got to give those guys a shout out. They do a great job feeding a lot of our customers and feeding a lot of our employees. Where, so. where are we going for lunch, Josh? Where are you getting close to lunchtime? It now is lunchtime. I don't know. Maybe we have to uh, Do they have RV the park? No, we're not going to take the RV to lunch. Do you want to take the RV to lunch? No, 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 no. I want to get this safely back to Newell. <laughs> I do not want to be responsible for a $2.3 million RV. That'll be one expensive hamburger, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I appreciate my relationship with Newell and want it to last as long <laughs> as possible. And I think part of that is getting this coach safely back to the headquarters there. So we appreciate it. We appreciate it. And also, too, since this coach is sold for the new owner as well. Yes. Yes. And a huge thank you to the to the new owner for I know part of the deal, I think, is this being a show coach that you guys had an agreement that you're able to still yes you, what you're it gonna, is gonna be display coach we are a little bit backlogged right now business has been good across the whole industry the business has been great and um so we have a little bit experienced a little bit of a backlog where our show coaches we have to build show coaches to show them off and do stuff like this well the uh person did not want to wait for the backlog so they bought a show coach under that condition we have 60 days to show the coach off before you take delivery so um they let us complete completely design this but they did help with the exterior paint scheme. 
very cool. Well, so, they, they did a great job amazing. choosing that exterior paint I scheme mean, as well. I think this is Ryan's night coach he's done uh, in the uh, Newell Coach paint design, and all nine of them have been completely different. Uh, and it shows the range of his talents, and not only him, but the guys executing it as well. Yeah, it's it's really cool to see the changes, and I'm you know I'm a, a detail guy. I love the exteriors, so to see all of the the ghosting and the stencil work and the drop shadows and the fades, um, you know I think Newell's really just always striving to up their game any way they can, and what a great relationship with Ryan Laux to. Uh, to you know, work with you guys. I'm I'm excited for you guys. Is that a, that's a nice looking coach? It looks oh, like so we come up here to our there. great factory at Newell Coach. Here it is, right there. So you can not be able to what, see some of them. What is this coach that's outside here? Is that a secret oh, coach? Oh, this is uh, you get to see a little sneak peek of a uh, a two oh, full bathroom bunk coach. Right here, right in here, next yes, to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, that's a great looking coach. So you look see, how effortless. I mean, this I would be afraid in a normal motorhome. But with this steerable tag, I just whip this thing whipped in. I mean, right I would, I'm in not going to pull it inside because my, respon <laughs> my, my responsibility is over here. Let's get this air Do that again. Pulled. Spin that backer. Uh, spin oh, that wheel backer. Oh, and no. Set, it, well, yeah, it automatically went automatically to. Automatically centered so up. I'll, so you, you turn it, and then it automatically zeroes out. What an amazing Now, look at that right there. You pulled that right in. That was pretty good. You're about dead center. And that's the first time you've ever pulled in here. Good job, buddy. Uh, I've, driven, I've driven a couple motorhomes <laughs> in my day. So, well, let's get this coach inside here and then let's give the folks a full tour of this coach. Can we give them a full tour with the slide outs out yes. now that they saw the slide outs? I'd love in? to. Awesome. Let's go take a look here. This is a great, perfect example right here of a 2021 that just happened to be sitting right beside us as we pulled in and a 2022. I want to show you a couple cool things that we did really with our bay door. On the 2021 right here, you see this right here is a fuel door area right here. We always put our camera right there. We always had a latch release system. You just yes, sir. lift that and the door pops up. Yep. So now we are thinking these paint jobs and all this exterior paint is getting so great. Some people might not like those latches even though we can paint through the latches. So today we offer something different. Simply push this button and everything rises up and boom. So it has a nice, slick, good look nice. right there. Yeah. So these new uh, buttons are new for 2022? It was actually, if you look on, um, this is another one of customers' ideas. If you look at uh, the 1721 coach, um, we did a triple bunk Murphy bed coach on 1721. Okay. Uh, that customer uh, wanted us to come up with a way to come up to do this system. And this is what we came up with. The customer was very satisfied and we were able to pass it along to our other customers as well. Before we go take a look at the inside, I want to get the folks a closer look at this oh, yeah. exterior paint job we were just talking about on the test drive. Check out how these right. pins right here, you've got like four or five pinstripes right there, and then they all kind of fade into one pinstripe, Then you've got all this stencil work. Follow this pinstripe right here, Andrew. This is what I love about Ryan and Tim and his guys execute. See how it goes back down to one? Then they swoop it back around. Oh, yeah. Four. So it went from five to four right through there. But then the detail of Ryan's work and Tim's work is you see that drop shadow? Yeah. Off of that right through there. Now it's even a drop shadow right there. The detail and the thought they come up with is really amazing. I'm really proud. Um, well, and then these that. pins right here too. Yeah. This is cool how it starts right here. And then as you slowly follow the lines of the coach, those pins are the same. It, they seem to be the same width, but they, they're they further and further apart. And then you've got all that stencil work even, and they even go above the windows and then the stencil work above the windows as well. I'm wow. excited about this one, Josh. This is it right here. This is a this is a great coat. Yeah, this is number uh, and this is Ryan Lauk's number eight. Eight. I might have said nine. You did eight say. or nine, but I think it's number yes eight. Uh, that's actually if you see it there. Now that we're talking oh, about Ryan. Sneak preview. Sneak preview. This is Ryan's uh, fifth um, coach right here. This is a oh. coach that uh, we're gonna walk through a little bit later. This is coach seventeen twenty nine. But look at that. Yeah. Right here. 
impressive. Bunk model coach. We're gonna give you guys a full tour of that later. But I want to show you one thing. Yes, sir. Front here. Something new on 2022 is a lot of people are talking about our glass front end. We changed that and went to a, a different front end. Wait, oh, sorry. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I wanted to see that glass front end. But we got another. Is this another Ryan Laux here? That's a Linda Jordan coach right there. Still beautiful. Linda Jordan did an amazing job for us. She's not with us anymore. We love Linda still. Linda did an amazing job. So any of our pre-owned buyers, you have a Linda Jordan paint scheme, you have a great paint scheme oh, too. Oh, absolutely. With you... Linda, we started doing ghosting and drop shadows. Yeah. And so Linda took us to that point, and we got to give Linda a lot of credit. De yeah, definitely huge thum thumbs up to this Linda Jordan design, but let's see that front end let's see this front end right here oh sorry i'm just i'm admiring this paint job josh i'm, I'm having a tough time keeping up I'm, my adv is just out of control today there's so much cool stuff going on man i love this front end here and all those same pinstripes that we were talking about those white pins i mean just oh and then you turn on that light turn on the light so it really is that glow but we're finally able to start painting some more designs on the front end of our coaches. And Ryan's really taking advantage of that. So we're able to do this right down through here. This glows and we're still able to kind of have our, we have our radar detector right there. Yep. Along with our adaptive cruise things that we may need. So all that stuff's hidden and it would not affect the paint of the coach. We've got a nice flow to it. So kind of see the difference a little bit. This is one that, uh, the older style right here. Yep. Really couldn't paint through it. Um, it still looks great, great looking coach. This right here just gives us a little bit more, kind of show you what the sides are gonna look like. This coach over here is catching my attention. I love seeing them in the kind of raw form. What's the story on this coach? This coach right here is coach 1737. It had just got done with production and it's getting ahead to paint. So what they did was they're running some tests on it right now before it goes into paint. So suspension testing and stuff like that and alignment testing, then it'll be off to paint to complete. Let's show the folks real quick. Uh, you know, I love to point this out is this is all aluminum right here. There's no other motorhome that I know of in the industry that doesn't use fiberglass. Everybody else uses fiberglass. Newell's the only one that I know of. Do you know of anyone else that I is all aluminum? I do not know. We've used a little bit of fiberglass on our fiberglass front and rear caps and our fenders. Everything back through here is aluminum. And um, if you see some of our walkthrough videos, or maybe we should show how our insulation is, you'll see how we keep this aluminum nice and flush, and it really helps with noise, sound, and moisture, and as well as um, weather with the coach, and it's able to last the coach a really long time. We've been doing this process since 1967 like this. Wow, yeah, and I'll leave that factory tour uh, build process video in the description that we talked about while we're on the test drive as well. Let's go take a look inside of this coach and give the folks a full tour. What's going on with this coach, sir? Man, I know we just got finished with the outside, but we gotta show off some great things we did on the interior here. Um, really proud of this coach. This is coach 1732, and this was supposed to be our uh, fall show coach. Um, if those in Hearthside Grove, uh, might see Brian Pitts up there. Uh, sometimes I go to Heritage. Anyway, we always have a fall show coach. Well, this coach sold. The one real thing why is the interior. We did some new interior features here that's pretty cool and I think you'll really like it, Andrew. Yeah, so what's going on, sir? Well, we're gonna start out here with uh, the countertops. Something yes, sir. pretty cool. This is a quartzite material. And if you look throughout the consistency of the coach, you're gonna notice a three quarter inch round over right through here. And what we did made it really nice slick so it don't have any straight edges on it. And then we took it all the way down to a waterfall, which is the new style now. If you kind of see, look at our slide fascia, I mean our slide um, bearing covers right here, we kept it consistent throughout. So um, that's something new to kind of knock the uh, edges off and kind of give it a new style and look. Got to give Amber and our team a shout out for that. A couple other cool things we did in this coach. You remember coach 1706? We had some amazing stories we did. If you want to go back and look at that video, that right there really, really got a lot of people talking. So we kind of translated that over here to this coach. For instance, this right here, your wow. drawer is already done, but it's really wide so you can have some really long cooking utensils for those who might like to cook. Interior, exterior, it's a great storage area, but it's not sliding around obviously when you're driving. 
This right here is something new we added. This is gonna be the little pegboard that you can put pegs in to store plates and stuff without. But we realize not everyone's gonna stack it to the full, so why don't we put an extra drawer in right there? Oh, very creative. So that's pretty creative and a great use of space. Um, just our team really got creative with uh, this floor plan design. And then we did this nice pull out, really heavy duty, really sturdy. Yes, sir. Look at that, and it's adjustable shelves. Yeah. So you can easily adjust the shelves to what, so if you have some really tall cereal boxes or things like that, that's the most complaint you hear, you can actually fit it in there. Or if you want to fit some good um, cooking accessories here, crock pots and things like that. Yeah, well, it's so deep. I've got to point out, well, that's probably close to two feet deep, or how deep is that? That's at least 18 inches? That's actually right at 20 inches in depth. 20 inches, okay, 20 yes, inches sir. in depth right through there, but it goes up really nice tall, but really easy to get to. If you look right back here, I don't know if you can get your camera back in there. Yes, sir. It's got that nice solid wood look to keep it consistent throughout so nothing falls out on that side. This right here is going to obviously be your dishwasher. You still have your trash stores right there. But instead of carrying it all the way out to right here, our show coach, we love our Newell glasses. We love that pop it brings. We decided to put it right here um, in the corner. So when you walk in, it gives you that really nice glow look. Along with the countertop and the waterfall, I really thought Amber and her team did a great job with that. So I really wanted to point that out. A couple other neat things we did. We did a new uh, wallpaper insert right here on this um, door. Oh, wow. It looks really, really cool. And you can kind of look and your camera can get the detail of this leather right up here. It matches really good with that, but it might be hard to get that detail in there. But that's what kind of inspired to get to that wallpaper was a little bit of that stuff right through there. So it's a, it's wow. A, I thought that was pretty creative in using the coloring and all that to kind of keep the flow of the coach going really well. This right here is, um, we have some good rugs in this. We have uh, custom ordered some rugs. We start out with this one right here. This is uh, kind of got the shag linear look, I guess you yes, could say. Yes, sir. So uh, pretty cool. And we have some nice throw um, blankets in here as well. And then we do have the automatic footrest that comes up. Nice. What's even crazier is we have even more storage right through here. Oh now, yeah. This store, this, this right here, is this only shelf's adjustable. This one's stationary. Okay. So that's why it's pretty cool. We have three adjustable shelves right there. Usually we only have one. So that's what makes that one kind of special. And we still have it consistently up through here with four versus three. Actually, yeah, four, yeah. And are those adjustable as well? These right here are adjustable right through here, except the bottom one is not. Yes, sir. So, and as we walk right through here, um, I kind of see as we go into the bedroom, Oh, let's see that half bathroom before we go into the oh, bedroom. Oh, I forgot about Sorry, that. Sorry, I, I know Thanks you guys. Thanks for reminding me, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for reminding me. Wow. You look at that tile in there. Is that not pretty that cool? Is, it's just amazing how Newell Coach just comes up with so many wow. different designs. And you I've got to give every... Uh, Stuart Woods and his boy in the tile department a lot of credit. That hand laid does in piece by piece. That was really tough to do. Yeah, the, you know, the tile work, the, the craftsmen in all departments here at Newell Coach really are second to none in the industry. I see a lot of coaches and it's just incredible. Um, not only the, the craftsmanship, but the different designs and how they're able to execute these designs. I've got to get everybody a close up of this blue wallpaper with that texture that in it cool? and the way it, it just flows with the tile and then that that wood that they used on those cabinets and the countertops and it's amazing so we I'm, kept that three quarter inch round over right oh yes there. sir yes, look sir. at that um that's a special custom made uh rug just for this bathroom right here it's a sheep style rug and he did it to go around the uh toilet and everything so we got to give uh, amber and her team once again credit customizing that's what they do yeah. They make it happen. They yes, sir. Happen. As we go into the bedroom here, we have uh, the mo most popular thing we have going in the entertainment area of audio and video equipment right now is the uh, projection screen. Yes, sir. As you can see back, I think it was on the Tampa Show Coach video, you uh, showed the different outside projection, what it can do. Yes, sir. Now we have it here in the bedroom. Once again, people love projection in the bedroom. Why? You got four deep drawers right here. Good dresser storage an open window. People love our big windows. We have big slides, big windows. At six foot three inch tall slide, you can make big windows. People yeah, and you're, lose, you're lose. over six foot or how right tall? Right at six feet, so. And you've got, you're standing in the slide out right now, and I wanna show everyone just how much room is in 
Josh is a big guy, but he's got a lot. Of, there's still plenty of room back here. So exactly, and so and it's deep too. We have uh, in this particular slider here, we're 24 inches in depth. That slide over there, we're 30. Um, so not only do we have tall slides, we have deep slides. Uh, that makes a big difference. As we kind of come over through here, we have great hanging closet storage as we're known for. And we also have this right here is a good little coat closet right here. One cool thing about a Newell is our coaches are quad slide, but you don't need all four slides out to appreciate everything with the coach. You can, let's say you're stopping overnight. You just want to put one slide out out. You can two slide outs. Everything's still easy to get to. One reason why we do that is this bed does retract and come out. Yep. Hey, well, I think we talked about that before. It's just more things that we do to make it easier to maneuver around the coach when slides are in or the slides are out. So um, I was just actually talking to someone on the phone before we shot this video and he wanted to talk about that a little bit more. So that's why I brought it up on this coach. Um, so that's one reason why we put the storage areas right in here so you can get to everything without maybe having to crawl over to bed or anything like that. Obviously, Andrew, I'm pretty excited about what I'm getting here to show you here. We kept the wallpaper consistent right through there. This is a new rear bath layout. You're gonna start seeing it more and more now. We've been asking a lot of demand for customers on changing things up in our rear bath. And I think we hit those demands with this right here. Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna start out here. This right here is a lot. Just come on in here and kind of show it. Yeah. A little bit. Wow, this is a totally different bathroom than I've it seen is. in any other Newell coach. Wow. That is cool. Guess what? You can get to the toilet without hitting a step up. Oh yeah. So a lot of people we've been here and when I get up in the middle of the night and I want to go use the bathroom, I always have to step up in your floors. And I might trip and fall. Now you don't have to worry about the step up. I like if you it. Trip and fall on this and you just went too far. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you then the toilet. This is something I've never seen. You've got like a dresser yes. back here yes. with that waterfall style tile work. Waterfall style tile work. And really this. nice all the way to the floor. And this is 42 inches tall right here. So it's a little taller than your normal dresser. It's on the step up, but we had to make it a little taller. I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. As you can see right here, this is nice deep drawer storage. One cool thing about Newell is we do not set our shower faucets until the customer gets here. People might be different heights. People might want things different. Some people might be right-handed. Some people might be left-handed. So we wait for the customer to come here before we set this. That's why that's sitting right here. Let's continue to talk about this new dresser. This right here, you all come out, you have three really good size drawers yes sir so some people might use it for towels or things for shower accessories and things like that i don't know whatever you may need to store back here we have this blocked off because this is part of our radiator so we're really able to use this space very well even though we're going to keep it open we've always wondered in the past what we were going to do with this part right here this 42 inch tall dresser made it perfect we also made great storage right through here so you can have stuff to get ready. Yeah. And for the ladies might really like this mirrored front right here so they can actually see themselves when they're getting ready. Get ready. Obviously our standard heater tile bar. Got goals, life goals right yeah. there, yes sir. If you have a heated tile bar, you're doing something great. Yes sir, <laughs> that's a true story. <laughs> you got great tile storage up here as well. Now, this is really cool. And we need to, before we go oh, into that sorry, shower, it sorry. is cool, so but we're, we're skipping. I, I've got to point out how much countertop space there is here. This is a, this is probably the biggest RV bathroom I've ever seen. I've said that before, but this this really is. Is this the biggest no coach bathroom? Probably so, the biggest one we offer without the walk-in closet. Okay, yes, sir. Um, and we're able to do that once again because we custom make our chassis and we can push our slides forward or back. So we're able to take advantage of that situation. What that advantage is, good size bathroom. This coach right here is really good for the RVers that use the coach for long seasons. Maybe might stay a whole winter or something like that. That's why, for instance, we have a little bit bigger of a laundry hamper right here. We still have right across from there, you have the great stacker, washer, or dryer. We uh, can do, a lot of questions I have, because a lot of people watch your videos, is do we do front loading dryers and washers? Yes, but most people in our show coaches really like to top loader because I have to bend over and pull things out. Yes, sir. So that's mainly why we do it a lot in our show coaches. But if you want a front end washer and front end dryer, we do that as well. Awesome. So let me put this right here. In All right. I know I've got to, I've got to point out just a couple of the textures, get a little close up on this, yeah. this stone work, but then this tile work on the backsplash is beautiful. You've got that same laminate that we've seen through well, the coach. Well, look at this right here. It matches with what's in the shower throughout the whole bathroom. Yeah. 
Now this shower, I know you wanted, you're okay. excited about showing us what that. What I'm excited for is one, our tile guys, once again, Stuart Woods and his team do an amazing job. They were able to book match this. And what that is, is we're able to match everything up in a nice linear setting and get that corner right there really to flow really well to give it a nice clean look throughout. Yeah, it really does. I mean, that the craftsmanship that it takes to get that done is is people don't realize how much work goes into that. And yeah, then that... Get on in there and see how good they had the flow going yeah. on it and all that. Well, and then the, the drains, that too. That is a new hidden drain. We <laughs> have... Uh, everybody always says we have not the prettiest of drain systems, I guess, in our older coaches. Now we, uh, I guess, have the hidden drain right there. So um, people are really excited about that, and this is one of the first coaches we're able to show that off with. You want to jump in there and just show us precise how big uh, that is? I'm obviously not the smallest guy in the world. <laughs> so um, you can kind of see I have plenty of room. You can even sit down over see, there? Yeah, ladies want to shave their legs. I don't shave my legs, but ladies do. So <laughs> <Yes>. therefore, <laughs> you have a nice area, but you really have good elbow room in here. You can really move around and just don't feel like you're in a recreation. And field. height as well. Another neat thing we did was look at the little road, hook right through there, through glass, and didn't mess with the glass or anything. It's a nice, clean finish. Really impressed with this. Another thing I didn't point out is, look at this green sink right here. It's really oh, deep. yeah. Look how deep that is. Well, and the texture, the too. Texture the camera's too. not doing, I know the camera's not doing justice of how high end of a finish that is but it wow really really good and it's like i mean i mean i always give our people a lot of credit because they they deserve it they earn it but uh our show coaches amber kind of just starts with a blank sheet of paper and we just let her go and this is what she created and she did one heck of a job yeah she does amazing work and real while you're standing back there i'm just noticing can you do me a favor and just reach well actually oh come on stand yeah. here yeah look look how much headroom you have there now that is before the other step up there but i mean you're six foot tall and you got to reach all the way up yeah. to reach the ceiling and then one other detail that i just it keeps drawing my eye in and i know the camera's not getting it but there's a really cool texture here in this light and it, there's just the human eye captures these high-end textures so much better than these cameras but just incredible just job by amber details, and the team yeah there. And I mean, they just do deep. And Amber works with a number of different local vendors. So most of the vendors we work with are USA. Proud of that, we're also local. And why we do that is, if anything may happen, they're Johnny on the spot. We support them, they support us very well. So that came from a local, um, uh, local vendor as well, as well as our countertops and everything else. And because Amber's got such great relationships, I think that puts us advanced over everyone else because our vendors always show us the latest and greatest and we're able to incorporate them to our coaches. Josh, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to show us the full tour of this coach, the test drive, really an incredible experience and really an honor to be able to share with the folks out on YouTube this amazing piece of artwork that the team at Newell Coach here created. If someone is a serious buyer, now this coach is already sold yes. and spoken for, um, but if someone wants to order a coach like this, who should they get a hold of? Just give me a call here at Newell Coach at 918-542-3344. Ask for Josh Snyder or any one of our great sales staff. We'd be more than happy to help you. Or visit us at our website at www.newellcoach.com. Awesome, Josh. Can't thank you enough. Thank you. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Hey, thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.